Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most high don't woke us up today. Let's take this opportunity to be great. So hopefully y'all having a good one and y'all out there being productive, handling business, and continuing to become your best version. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, it is an adventure. It's an adventure becoming your best version. You know, just challenging yourself every day, pushing yourself every day, you know, and that just gives you life. It gives you a reason to keep moving forward. And, you know, with that being said, you know, a lot of people wonder, like, why is it so many people stuck in the past? You know, it's a lot of people that stuck back there, you know, and I'm not here to just drill them because, listen, you know, all of us didn't have fun in the past. You know, we didn't have some good times and bad times, but we all have these memories that just stick with us. You know what I mean? Great times that just stick with us. Even some of the bad times that just stick with us. You know, but, you know, still you got a lot of people that's living in that. You know, you got a lot of people that's not growing because of their past. You know, they refuse to let that shit go and move forward. You know, and they treat their life as if there's nothing left. You know, they treat everything about them as if, you know, like they can't move forward because of their past. You know what I'm saying? They want to just go back there so bad. And what people don't understand is when you live like that, listen, you know, it's just so bad for your health. It's so bad for your vibration. You know, it's so bad because you on a low frequency. You're not moving along with the times. You know what I'm saying? So you're not growing in that. You're not getting better. You know, you're still stuck in your ways. You know, you, you know, you stressed out, you know, because you can't go back to that. You know, it's like reading like old love letters that you, you know, you know, from a relationship that been and ended. You know what I'm saying? You know, the relationship been over, but you want to still read love letters. You want to still look at pictures. You know, you want to still wish that you could just go back and change shit. All of that shit. And it's like people like really living that. You know, they haven't accepted, you know, what happened in their life. They, they haven't accepted, you know, old relationships that then came to an end. They haven't accepted you know, some of the things that they've done that they wish they could have. Like, they haven't accepted, you know, the fact that you can't go back and change that. They haven't accepted what's done is already done. You know what? And I have a lot more life to live. So when you can't accept this shit, then you can't grow. You can't elevate. You, can, you, you, can't, you can't accomplish nothing. You know, you can't be as productive as you want. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of people live their life like that. And, it's, and, and and what they don't understand is that they put in such a strain on their present. You know, and you got some people that just stay back there because, listen, they present ain't on nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because all their energy is going back to the past. All their memories is going back to the past. You know, everything about them is just stuck in the past. You know what I'm saying? So anytime you do that, you putting the strain on your present. You're not even appreciating the life that you have. You're not appreciating, you know, the fact that you made it through these situations. You're not appreciating, you know, just anything, bro. And anytime your present is being strained like that because you're living in your past, then, you know, your future is taking a blow as well. You know, so you not you not fighting you know, to get to any type of destination, achieve any type of goals. You, most people that live back there don't have any type of aspirations. So, you know, they, they like the kings and queens of settling. You know, they just gonna take anything, even though it's not, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just how they are. They don't care that much. They just still, they mind still back there. So you think that they gonna care about the, the, the partners that they choose? You think they gonna care about that shit? They ain't gonna care about that shit. You think they gonna care about their health like that? 
you know, so they're not going to be trying to get back to, you know, that 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 youthful feeling that they have. They're not going to work towards nothing. They're not going to be taking care uh, of, of things because a lot of people let themselves go living in the past. So guess what? They're not going to be concerned about health like that. You know, if anything, because they can't go back and live how they used to live or, you know, go back and change some of the situations, you know, most people lean towards substance, you know, because they can't take their reality. They don't give a fuck about their present. They don't give a fuck about their reality. They don't give a fuck about the blessings that they have. So guess what, bro? They don't want to stay under the influence. And when you're under the influence, when you drinking, when you smoking, when you popping pills and all of that shit, it just, it takes you away from your reality. You know what I'm saying? And... Oftentimes, that's the best way to go back. You know, that's the best way. That's the best way to have the same feelings that you had, you know, when you was in that past life. That's the thing. That's that's what people use. They use substance to bring them back closer to that. You know what I'm saying? And then when that shit wear off, you know, they back to being in that depressed state. They back to their present, which is, you know damn near non-existent, not going anywhere, not going anywhere, and they just don't see it, bro, it's like they really out here wasting their life, and, you know, that's why, you know, I tell you, bro, like, really, like, show gratitude and appreciate the life that you have, you know, I'm not telling you to forget about your past, I'm not telling you to forget about that shit, that's what made you, that's why you here, you here strong, you know, you made it out the good and the bad. You know what I'm saying? You made it out the darkness, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you lived through that to get to where you at today. So why would, why would we want to be stuck back there? You know, why would we not appreciate where we at and where we going? Why wouldn't we appreciate that shit? You know, that should amp you up, give you more energy. The fact that you still here. The fact that you still pushing, you know, the fact that you waking up and you look at life different, bro. This this journey is like one of the best things to ever happen because it gave me a new life. You know what I'm saying? I look at my outlook on life has totally changed. My appreciation for life has totally changed. That shit flipped. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that we're not going to have struggles and hard times. You know what I'm saying? It's that's life. I appreciate that shit too now because now, listen, since being here, we know that we get stronger when we go through that adversity. We know we get stronger when we go through that resistance. We know we get better in time. We get better with time. You know what I'm saying? The more you live life, the more you have experiences, the more you fight, the more you, you know what I'm saying, get out there and and show gratitude and all of that, bro. Like, you taking it all in, bro. You know, and it's just like, you know, we just, we just living life to the fullest. A lot of people ain't though, but we living life to the fullest. So when you live life to the fullest and you got this mentality now, bro, like, listen, dog, you know, you're going to accomplish great things. You know what I mean? You're going to live a great life because you're not taking anything for granted. The motherfuckers that stuck in the past, they taking everything for granted. You know what I'm saying? They letting that, they bringing, they bringing that shit back, you know, to their present. A lot of people won't let go, so that's why they still act how they act. That's why you see people out here still, you know, chasing all these women. That's why you see people still, you know, out here gang banging and, you know, should have been grown out of that shit. That's why you see people, you know, still underachieving. That's why you see people still moving funny. You know, that's why you see people still, you know, sleeping around, doing the same shit that, you know, should have been out of their system. You know? And at the end of the day, I hope that they could snap out of that, bro, before, you know, too much time has passed, you know, because those days are done. Stop thinking that life is over, you know, because, you know, things have changed and, you know, it's not how it used to be. No, bro, the the road is clear for you to create, you know, more good times. 
you know, the, the, the road is being paved out, you know, for you to, to create, you know, greater memories. You know what I'm saying? You know, more experiences. You know, more of life. But don't, you know, stop taking this shit for granted, man. At the end of the day, bro, you know, that's why that's why you see mugs leaning, leaning on all of these unnatural things, bro. That's why you see it. And... You know, that's just another form, uh, another opening for demonic energy to enter into your space. You know, enter into your vibration, enter into your thoughts. Because the devil don't mind us being stagnant. The devil want us out here procrastinating. The devil want us living in the past. The devil want us under the influence. The devil want us to not grow. The devil don't want no growth in us. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can't, if you're not growing, then guess what? You're not on your purpose. If you're not growing, then you're not truly living your life. If you're not growing, then you're not developing a relationship with your creator, bro. Yeah. You know, because you think that, you know, it's it, that, 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 that life is over for you. That all your life was just back there. And that's far from the truth, bro. We are here to grow. We are here to elevate. You know, we are here to understand that there's a greater power, you know, and when you understand that, I'm telling you, man, you know, you just be like, you know, you look at yourself like, yo, you know, I view things different. You know, I'm supposed to be here. I'm here for a reason. You know, I'm here for a reason. And then you start looking around, looking at some of the, some of the shit that you, you know, that you done done or you know, that you, that you're doing right now. And it's like, yo, you know, you're going, you're going to really start to clean things up in your life, bro. Because when you realize that you have a greater purpose, bro, and you realize that, you know, the most high bought you here, you know, to be better than who you are and the things that you're doing in that moment, listen, bro, it changes everything. So when you see people that you could just tell, like, they just act the same, they not growing, they, you know what I'm saying, they living in the past and all of that shit, you know, pray for them. Pray for them because they not truly living life. They not doing what they were sent here for. You know, they out of alignment. And, you know, that's just not, you know, it, when you, when you, the more you continue in that, bro, it just, it just goes further downhill, bro. You know, and nobody that's elevating want to be involved in, 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 in that type of energy, bro. When you elevating, bro, you ain't got time to be looking back doing all that shit because you know it ain't going to help you. You ain't got time to be around people that's stuck in the past because they stuck there. You trying to move forward. You know it ain't going to help you. You know, and you know that that shit not going to benefit where you going in your life. You know that shit not going to benefit what it is you trying to accomplish and what you trying to achieve out here, what you trying to do. You know that shit ain't going to benefit, you know, you and, and, and your family and what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the things that you're doing as a man and, and you know, trying to raise your kids and all that. You know just being around that ain't going to do nothing. You live that life. That's why you be, that's why I told y'all people be so fucked up when they go back into that same element. You know, because you're not supposed to be there, bro. That's why. You know, that's why bullshit kick off. Because you're not supposed to be there. And there's a lesson to be learned. You know, and you're going to feel that shit too. A lot of people put themselves in position to feel that shit. You know what I mean? To where they have to learn the lesson. Because they want to keep going around the same things. Or they want to keep, you know, wasting their life. Living in the past and don't want to grow. You know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like that, that, that saying, like, where motherfuckers say, like, you in the way, bro, you in the way. You in the way. Because there's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, the most high could be doing something, you know, with that space that you taking up. There's a lot of people that's not here today that wish that they could have that space that you taking up. But you stuck in the past. You don't want to grow. You don't want to elevate. You don't, you don't, you don't appreciate your life. Who the fuck wanna hang around that? 
Because if they don't appreciate their life, you think they're going to care about yours? Hell no. Nah, they ain't going to give a damn about your life. So they're going to drag you down, hold you down, drain you. You know what I mean? Have you in, in, in the worst situations, have you almost damn near losing your life. You know, put you, you know what I mean? All types of shit, bro. Anything can happen when you allow that. So don't allow that, bro. You got to stay away from that type of energy and keep moving forward in your life. Keep showing gratitude for, for, for the life that the Most High gave you. And you show that gratitude by appreciating things. You know what I'm saying? By getting out there, experiencing things. You know what I'm saying? And thanking the Most High every day, every chance that you get for everything that you have. You know what I mean? And living in, living this mug to the fullest. You know what I mean? Finding your purpose. Staying on that. Putting your energy into that. Being positive. You know what I mean? Putting out positive energy. That's how you show gratitude. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is JC and the CN Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I got to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get